Oh no, that's the bus that I need to catch. Well, that was a spot of luck. I've just managed to get the bus. This drops me off. And this is where you catch the train from to go up the hill. I have my ticket. It was 30 ringgit for the return train going up and back because it's way too hot to walk. The air conditioning's on in here. Oh, there's a bit of a line. By the looks of it, there are two lanes. You can either buy the regular ticket or the fast lane ticket. And there's no queue for the fast lane. That sky is not looking too friendly, although it is much cooler up here. This is the gatehouse, and I believe the highest that you can get. It's a bit of a misty day today. Last time I was here, it was as clear as a bell. down to the habitat. You've got to pay extra to go in here. I'm going to do the walk and the VR session. So the VR session gets done first and then we go off on our walk. You've got a choice of which one to watch. So I'm going for the world tour and then you just come over and sit on this little chair. certainly worth the entrance fee, it really is. Look what I've just found. All through here they've got water dispensers where you can fill up your drinking water. What a good idea. They also have lots of swings that you can sit on. Take a rest, take a selfie on. I am really really glad that I've done this and the VR was really good as well. And that's where we're headed, just up there look, up these stairs. I wish it was a clear day. That would be amazing. Let me read this to you. It says that the views here, which stretch as far as the island of Langkawi and to mainland Kadar, have been enjoyed for over 200 years. Wow. And I'm sure on a clear day, it would be magnificent. It is definitely 
definitely much cooler up here than it is down in Georgetown. It's between 33 and 34 degrees. But with the trees and everything, it's much cooler. It's lovely, although it does keep threatening rain. Although I'm not sure I'm going to be completely upset. There is a zip line here, but unfortunately it's closed today. Otherwise I would have definitely have done it. Okay, not so sure about this. This is where the butterflies live. And I am really not keen on butterflies. <laughs> oh my word. Look at this. So all around there are these little huts with little bits of information that you can pick up on your walk around. Can somebody tell me, are these, these aren't coffee beans are they? Are they coffee beans? I don't know. The last stop is the restaurant and souvenir shop. And now 50 meters just down here, you go and get on the shuttle bus and it takes you back to the start. I believe she said it was 1.6 kilometers to do the whole habitat. But I am glad that I've done it, but my legs are really itchy now because I think I've been bitten to death. Oh. The things in the um, souvenir shop were quite pricey. So I decided to wait until I get back down to have lunch. Although it is half past one already. <laughs> I can hear the rain. This is what I'm having for my lunch today. I have no idea what it is, but I think it's little fish, but I might be wrong. Right, I'm going to try. Mm. It's nice. Spicy, but really nice. I don't know what the video is picking up, but you can still see a view, but definitely not as good as last year.